What's up friends? Welcome back to the third video in the series talking about my metabolic efficiency test. This week I'm going to be talking about intuitive eating. Now what does that mean to me? Simple. Intuitive eating means listening to your body. If it tells you it's hungry, eating something. If it's not hungry, not forcing yourself to eat. Now that can be a challenge because a lot of us are raised in families where 7 a.m. is breakfast, lunch is noon, dinner is 5. Then some of us get older and start working or in school with sports and we find that we can't do that. So instead, we're so unpredictable with our schedules, we eat whenever we can, whether or not we're hungry. The other big thing is eating on the go, sitting at your desk, at your computer, distracted by your phone, and not allowing yourself to calmly enjoy the fuel you're trying to give your body, enjoy it free from distractions, and being able to listen to the cues your body wants to give you. If your body says it's full, you should probably stop eating instead of, I was raised on the clean plate club philosophy where it didn't matter how much food was on my plate, I was only done and I only did a good job if I ate everything. If my body told me I was full 10 minutes ago, I probably should have stopped eating, right? So how do we make that happen? First thing, meal prep. Whether you do everything for the week on Sunday or whether you cook multiple times throughout the week, it's important to have prepared food in the portions that you would like to eat based on your fitness and your health goals. On the days where I walk out, I'm up at four in the morning most days and I get home at 8 p.m. a lot of those days. If I walk out the door with food for the day, I can almost guarantee you I will stay on track with eating what I want to. On the days where I don't leave prepared, I will either A, not eat, or B, scavenge for food, usually spending way too much money and still getting food that isn't very good for me or at least not in line with what I'm looking to have that particular day. So, meal prep is important. The other thing with my schedule, I could see back-to-back -back clients or have classes that I teach back-to-back -back and not have time to eat. Well, if I'm hungry working with this client and I say I'll eat when I'm done, I might not actually have time to eat for another four hours. So in my meal prep game, I also prepare snacks, things that are quick and easy, easily digestible that I can do on the go in between clients, in between classes to help give me more fuel and more energy throughout the day. If you do those things, prepare yourself to have food with you when it's time to eat, and you listen to your body and eat when it tells you it's hungry, I can almost promise you you're gonna to start to see a positive change. Try your best to give yourself one meal a day where you're also free from distractions. Sit down at a table, look outside, just relax, talk with a loved one, but no electronics, no distractions, no multitasking, and see if it makes you feel any better. That's my talk on intuitive eating, I'm still working on it myself, but so far it's been working really well for me. Good luck, and let me know if you have any questions.